Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Tuesday morning. So good to so be good. in your company. Start of a brand new day. Rain roaring outside. Uh, yeah, rain is, drops. Eh? But no, drop we need tops. it. We need it. As much yeah. as you want to complain, we need the rain. Fill up them dams, please. Absolutely. Hey, and can you believe it? There are only two days left to submit your entry for presenter search on 3D Expresso Edition. <sighs> only two days, South Africa. Come on, y'all. And if you haven't yet made your video, uh, do so and then post it to Instagram, of course, using that hashtag presenter search on three. Mm. Then sit back and listen up uh, as we are about to answer some rapid fire questions because we do get a lot of those from you uh, with regards to being presenters on the show uh -huh. and what it's like and the entire experience. So, with 60 seconds on the clock, each of us are going to ask uh, the other questions yeah. okay. and then we'll see how far you get as, oh, as soon as okay. possible. Okay, Tabi, yeah, so you're going to go start. first. Okay, cool. We've got 60 seconds. Uh, you on, so, I'm going to ask you. Like okay, okay, cool. Cool. Are you ready? Cool. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Describe in three words how you felt when you when you won presenter search on three. I I couldn't believe it. Uh, I couldn't believe it. that's four words. Now yeah. nah, you're dead in the water. Um, <laughs> how did you feel on your first day? Nervous. Nervous. What was your your favorite day of the week to present and why? Fridays because of the Friday dance. <laughs> oh, what nice. has been your favorite interview and why? Um, Brooke Logan from The Bold and the Beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I grew up watching her and cool. it was just unbelievable that I was interviewing her. When have you felt the most nervous on the show and why? Right now. My first week, and <laughs> it's because I was still trying to figure out my space in the show and how to do certain things, technical things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What has your favorite dish on the show been so far? Oh, it's so many. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, the wow. lamb shank. The lamb shank. What was your favorite <laughs> performance on the show so far? Dr. Malinga. Ah, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, you know, you got, yeah, you got through those. You got through oh, those. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Seven, awesome. Six. But oh, then, no, then no, you man. must listen to me. So when I say describe in three in words, three you can't words, say, I'm like, I, I can't so believe excited. it because it was amazing. <laughs> That's like that. Cancels it. Okay, cool. Up uh, questions for you, Graham. Uh, okay, cool. Right. Uh, can we get the 60 second clock in for can Graham? Can I have the seven seconds that he didn't use on his? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. How did you feel on your first day? I'm like an invasion of personal space because I got put on a plinth and then they came and stuck a camera right on my face. And they were like, okay, let's get his real age versus his. <laughs> his I was like, whoa, okay, so it's like that. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, what's been your favorite interview and why? Um, Archbishop Desmond Tutu because it was Archbishop Desmond Tutu. <laughs> Which guest on the show has given you the most inspiration? Uh, there have been too many. It's, it's more the everyday. I think that we interviewed a young priest years ago who had been responsible for putting a whole lot of child murderers and rapists wow. behind bars. Yeah. Awesome. What's been your favorite off-location shoot and why? Um, the garden route because it was just awesome. When have you felt the most nervous and why? Um, oh, so many times. Probably interviewing a, a rugby star like a Francois Pinot type vibe. Yeah. What's uh, your favorite performance on the show? What has it been so far? Oh, it's impossible. I've, I've loved them all so much. Eh? Favorite cats, on the cats, show? Um, weeping. <laughs> and that's time. That's time. Well it's done. It's yeah. difficult to do these in it 60 is, uh, seconds because, because, you know, because they're quite mind. detailed. They're but not like... Yeah, yeah, no, but bearing in mind, I've probably on this show done 300 more yeah. interviews. Yeah. yeah. Been to 300 more locations. Yeah. And it's difficult yeah, yeah. to pick that one. I've forgotten yeah, how many times I've jumped out of an airplane. <laughs> that's how many times I've jumped out of an airplane. And you've probably interviewed some really big names that you've forgotten about as well. Grass and Michelle, yeah. I mean, some amazing people. But, but mm. um, uh, Archbishop Emeritus was just amazing. He shut down his shop. He even missed a flight. And I took my mom to go and have oh, wow. um, tea with him. And he had his oh, daughter. Wow. Yeah. And it was, it was, was magic. It was one of the best that days of my life. So. What an opportunity. Yeah. Um, Dude. And, um, okay, well, and you made my mom cry with the, the performance of Weeping as well, which oh, is what you man. remember. So yeah, lovely yeah. stuff. Oh, okay. your favorite performance on the show? Yeah, yeah. I really nice. well. I love the song and it was just it was really, really nice. special for me. So, uh, Kat, are you ready, dude? Okay, 60 seconds. Um, <coughs> cast your mind back, bro. In three, two, one. Uh, how did you feel on your first day? Super, super nervous, but very, very excited. Over the top. Faithful, faithful. I'm What has been your favorite interview and why? Oh, man. Uh, Kofi Annan, uh, One Young wow. World uh, yeah. in, in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh. The fact that he even just gave us his time and canceled like other major news corporations in order to interview with us yeah. and what he shared with me. Ah, for the kids, wow. man, for the kids. One Young World, awesome initiative there. What was your favorite song to sing on the show and why? Ooh, it, oh man, it was. It, 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 you can give us a top it, five. No, it, it's got to be the, the one day when Johnny Clegg's guitarist came across, and then we, during the sound check, we were singing Spirit of the Great mm. Heart. Um, and he, that was amazing, very special. Very special. I, can, I can understand that, yeah. <clears throat> can understand that. Um, describe how you felt when you were nominated for your first SAFTA. In utter disbelief. Um, no, I think he's lying. I think he <laughs> what? I think he knew. No, I'm serious. <laughs> um, uh, then how did you feel when you won your first chapter? I was, I was, stuck, to my, I was stuck to my chair. 
Do you remember? It, did you thank all the right people when you did your I acceptance speech? I think I speech? did. I think I did. Yes, yes, I think I did. Oh, if I, if I didn't, thank up, you. But oh, sorry. Just sorry. No, no, just no, no, can we do that? Chat. Can we just chat? <laughs> can we just <laughs> chat? Let's but just yeah, chat. it was. It was like I, I was stuck to my chair because I was like, "Did she just say my name?" Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, that means I've got to so walk up now. So you got all these people screaming behind you as well, cheering, clapping. It's like when you're when your insides turn to liquid. You weren't hosting that year. No, I wasn't hosting that. It was Luis Ogola was hosting that year. Wow. And my insights turned to liquid. Yeah. Oh, that's was, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's but awesome, man. Did you feel like you couldn't walk properly walking up that stage? <laughs> I like think I looked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> never, man, never. And then he came back and he broke his <laughs> award. <laughs> I didn't! <laughs> no, that was the Youth Spectacular Award. In, I, I was pushing the trolley at the airport yeah. and it hit one of those ridges and then it just went... <laughs> 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 Did they at least replace it for you? Not yeah. yet, not oh. yet. I, I felt too embarrassed to, to ask You still won. <laughs> Hopefully someone is, someone is, is watching. So uh, I've got to say, you know, this uh, is the kind of vibe. This is what you get to, to do by joining our family. The ranks of one of the coolest shows, yeah. undoubtedly, on South African television. Award-winning breakfast show. SAFTA mm. award-winning breakfast show that we are. So please get on it. Record your one-minute video of what makes you unique, your name, your city. Get it onto Instagram. Um, and hopefully we'll make you famous yeah <laughs> enjoy it hey just be yourself and just show us what you, what it is that you would bring post that video on instagram using hashtag presenter search on three and the team will then find your application and if your application is successful then you'll be contacted and invited to audition in front of a panel of judges and remember that you must introduce your name and where you live and don't forget hashtag presenter search on three mm. or else we won't be able to find that in closes tomorrow so you need to make sure you get on it asap ASAP. Yeah, and a lot of people have been saying, oh, I've missed a chance. You haven't missed a no, chance. You You've got two days. Yeah. It's taking five minutes, less, one minute to record a one minute video. But just get someone to help you out, make it look cool. But most importantly, just make it yourself. Just be yourself. Have, have a lot fun. of fun with it because have that's fun ultimately with it what as we well. do. Importantly, T's and C's apply. Yeah. Yeah. Find them on presenter search on 3.com. <laughs> what a oh wonderful gosh. day it's been. Thanks it to our dance champions. Cool, I think we need to just get our, our, our hips greased a little bit so we can charge it properly. Okay, but cool. until then, make someone smile out there. Love you too much.